we're now going to factor a GCF from an expression. Remembering that GCF stands for greatest common factor. So our steps. The first thing we're going to do is find the greatest common factor. Then we're going to divide that from each term. And then we're going to rewrite this. So we're almost like we are undistributing. That is the idea of factoring out a greatest common factor. Now, there are other videos that I have on finding the greatest common factor. So if you need help with that, pause this, go watch one of those videos, and then come back. So we're going to factor 15x squared minus 30x. So again, first thing is we have to find the greatest common factor. So when I look at 15 and 30, the largest number that divides evenly into both of these is 15. Then I look at x squared and x. When I'm finding the GCF of a variable, it's the variable, same base, it's the smaller exponent. So I just have x. So my greatest common factor is 15x. So now, I'm going to go through and say, okay, I am going to divide 15x out of each term. So if I take 15x squared and I divide that by 15x, well, 15 divided by 15 is 1, and x squared over x. Remember, when we divide, same base, we subtract the exponents. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So the only thing I have left here is a 1x. And if our coefficient is 1, we can just ignore that. All right, so the minus sign is going to go ahead and come down. And then I'm going to take 30x divided by my GCF of 15x. 30 divided by 15 is 2, and x over x cancels out. And I am left with 15x times the quantity x minus 2. When you are doing this, one thing to always check is the expression that is left inside the parentheses. There should be no common factors. So if you divide out your GCF and you have a common factor left, then you did not factor out the GCF. Okay, that's the idea of this. Um, all right, let's do another one. We're going to factor 24x squared y plus 16x cubed y squared. All right, so my GCF. First, I look at my numbers, 24 and 16. Largest number that goes into both of those is 8. Then I look at x squared and x cubed. Largest, or excuse me, the smallest exponent when we're comparing same base. So I have x squared, and then I look at y and y squared. Smallest exponent with the same base would just be y. So my GCF is 8x squared y. And we do the same thing. So I take 24x squared y divided by 8x squared y. 24 divided by 8 is 3. The x squareds are going to just cancel out. The y's are going to cancel out. And I'm just left with 3. I bring down my plus sign. And then I take 16x cubed y squared divided by 8x squared y. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Same base. When I subtract, uh, divide, I subtract the exponents. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have x to the first. And then with my y's, same base, 2 minus 1 is 1. Now we don't need the exponent if it's a 1. So my final answer is 8x squared y times the quantity 3 plus 2xy. Let's do one more just for fun. 20xyz minus 15x squared yz cubed. Awesome. Start with my numbers. Finding the GCF. So 15 and 20 have a GCF of 5. Then I look at x and x squared. x, y, and y. y, z, z cubed, z. So my greatest common factor is 5xyz. Okay, so 5xyz. And then I do the same thing. So 20xyz divided by 5xyz. Well, 20 divided by 5 gives me 4. The x's cancel out, the y's cancel out, the z's cancel out. Awesome. My minus sign comes down. And then I take 15x squared yz cubed divided by 5xyz. All right, so I check out my 15 divided by 5. I get 3. x squared over x. 
divide, same base, subtract the exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1. My y's have the same exponent, so they cancel out. And then my z's, 3 minus 1 is 2. So my final answer is 5xyz times the quantity 4 minus 3xz squared. And that is factoring out a GCF from an expression.